what happened with me. I, I started off in kindergarten, and I was a slow reader, and then uh, went to first grade, and we had, you guys have reading groups? Yes. Well, we had reading groups, and there was three reading groups. There was the first group, which was like the really fast, good readers, and there was the second group, which were kind of just in the middle of the pack, uh, middle curve readers, and then there was a third group, which were slow readers. So which group do you guys think I was in? I was in the slowest group. There was only there's 23 kids in our in my class when I was in first grade. There's 10 in the first group. There's 10 in the second group, and then there's three of us. And I was in the lowest group. So, you know, I was uh, so I went home and I was talking to my mom and I said, I just remember to this day I went home and said, listen, uh, you know, they put me in this third group and I had to go over to another school to learn. I was in, it was learning disabilities. I had to go over to this other school. And I told my mom, I said, what do I have to do to get out of this? Because I didn't want to, I mean, you guys all like to be with each other. You don't want to be singled out and put on yourself. Do you guys? Do you guys like hanging out with each other? Yeah. See, that's how I felt. So I decided, and my mom said, well, I'll do whatever it takes to help. So we sat up every night. We read books. And as time went on, I, we got into the second grade. What reading group do you guys think I went into? Yeah. Went into the second group. So the, in second grade, I moved up to the second group. And then the same thing happened. I just kept working at it. I worked with my teachers. I worked with my friends. My parents helped me. And as we got to the third grade, I ended up in the first reading group. And that was something that, you know, to me, I don't think I would have ever had the confidence to be able to continue on education-wise. And I just kind of want to illustrate to you guys how important this age group is. First kindergarten, first, second grade. Because you might think it's not a big deal, but you need to be up on pace. Because if you keep falling behind, it's really hard to catch up. So this is a really important time. Have fun, but make sure you keep up, listen to your teachers, and keep up with what you're doing. And that, that's just kind of the message I had to send. I don't know if, Tony, do you have anything? I don't have a story like that, but reading is one of the greatest tools you can have in your life. Books, you can always go to a book. You can have fun stories. It keeps you entertained. Most Has anyone ever heard of Harry Potter? Me? Yeah. Yeah. See? That's a, that's, that's a Who's seen, who's, who's seen the videos, the movies? Everybody? Do you guys know that's actually a book? It's a movie. Has, has anyone read the book? Yeah. Yeah, see, there's many books like that. There's, there's, there's books that aren't as, aren't as long. There's books that are really short to read. And, you know, it's, just, it's a fun time. And you've got to remember that. When you're going through school, you're going to have to do book reports and just pick good books that you like. That'll keep, that'll keep you entertained.